And he went in the back and he got Christian and I saw because they usually stand behind the counter and they put their hands on their hips and they tell you the rules and the regulations and they stand just far enough away you can't reach them. <laughs> Christian came out, reached over the counter and he said, Mr. Morgan, it's your birthday today, isn't it? I said, yes it is. <laughs> just like that, we're heading for our plane. Now as we waited for our plane, I think you find out about people when things aren't going well. About two gates down, Southwest agent is trying to inspire his people. He said, how many of you are flying with me today? Raise your hands. And about three people raise their hand. Do I have to? I don't really want to. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood. I prefer to rehearse why I'm in a bad mood than get out of the bad mood. That's what we do, All right? And so people aren't participating, but he doesn't give in. He doesn't quit. These people are saying, this is not supposed to be fun. You're not having fun. If you're having fun, you're probably on some sort of medication. <laughs> he doesn't give in. He says, good, because we're going to sing a song. <laughs> to admire the audacity. He said, oh, you know, the song goes like this. Dale. <laughs> he said, but I changed the rest of the song. He says, when the airplane come, I want to go home. <laughs> he didn't get very many people to sing. <laughs> but don't you admire the fact that he tried? Aren't you? Sure we do. We finally got on our plane, and the flight attendant stood up in front of us. Now, I want to try to tell you this story in character. Now, people have said, no, you can't use that accent because you're not that person. Bite me. Get over it, okay? <laughs> young flight attendant stood up in front of us, young Hispanic gentleman. He says, all right, attention, please. This plane, this plane is designed to land in the water just one time. You see all those people with their newspaper. Blah, 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 blah. What <laughs> did he say? <coughs> and he said, "If we do, you men with the hairy chest, you take that seat like that with that Velcro." <laughs> you stick it right to your chest, and you paddle right to your shore, and you can keep that as a souvenir. Groups of people in exactly the same situation, but a little bit different approach. Southwest decided that, you know what, the time when we make the biggest difference is we shine when it's darkest. You know, some people may say that right, right now education is a pretty dark time. There's a lot of challenging things going on. But this is when you show that you're different than everybody else, because you plan for that. You show people that we shine when it is darkest. The reason you get together is to help celebrate that shine, to help polish each other up for the opportunity to be able to go back and make that difference.